Hi guys, my name is Michael Stillwell, and I'm one of the student coordinators here at the Piano Technician Academy. Now a lot of you don't know this, but I'm also a piano technician myself. I don't work on the instructor side of the school as much anymore. I mainly just focus on um, student enrollment. I'm a student coordinator, so I kind of talk to all the people who are just thinking about getting into the course and I just have questions about it. And then I also work with the LMS team uh, up in Seattle. They kind of make sure the back end of the course is working smoothly. But I am a piano technician and I actually own a piano store in Mesa, Arizona, we're the largest used store in the Southwest. We have about, and at any given time, over 300 pianos. We're about 28,000 square feet. And most of our business is um, selling baby grands and grand pianos. I think it was about 87% last year was just on that. Um, and within that, we also sell a lot of high-end um, pianos with our partners, living pianos as well. And those pianos start at like $20,000 and go up. Those are all handmade uh, pianos. Now, one of the big things that separates Asian pianos from handmade pianos um, is what we call wet sand casting or V-Pro for a plate, vacuum packed plate. Now I have right here, this is a Baldwin L, I believe. Yep, this is a Baldwin L. This is a handmade piano. This thing has a wet sand casted plate. Um, what that means is that it's almost like a form of a, um, of a ice tray. So in a normal uh, piano, like a handmade piano, you have what's called V-Pro. And in that circumstance, they're gonna have like an ice tray like this. They slowly put um, scalding hot cast iron directly into the form, and then they put wet sand on top of it, and that allows the material to dry very slowly. It usually takes about six months to fully cure a plate. And now the pianos I'm talking about that have this are mainly high-end handmade pianos or very old pianos. This is the way they did it a long time ago as well. Um, but I'm talking Steinway, Bosendorfer, Fazioli, Mason & Hamlin, Schimmel, Beckstein, Blutner, Zeiler, Sauter, anything that's going to be a handmade piano, every single time, wet sand cats and plate. Now in the 70s, Yamaha introduced what we call V-Pro or vacuum pack. Now this is the opposite of what I just said. In this circumstance, they're able to make a plate and I think it, they have heard it cures within four and a half minutes. And how they do this is they have a form that's like this, they pour hot cast iron in, they suck all the air out, they dip it in water, they pull it out, all of a sudden you got a cured plate. Um, and that is a lot of um, Asian pianos. It's a very, very quick way, obviously it costs the company a whole lot less. But that is a lot of times what just differentiates a handmade piano from an Asian piano in the sound. A lot of times V-Pro plates sound a little bit more tinny, uh, a little bit brighter, thinner. Um, there's even been talk of manufacturers that are actually putting tin in the iron because it's cheaper and lighter. Um, and that's where we get that word of this piano sounds tinny. A lot of times it's from the plate. It can be from the hammers and a million other things, but a lot of times it's from the plate. Having a wet sand casted plate is becoming very popular again, and now there's a lot of Asian companies who are starting to do that with their pianos. I know High Loon is, uh, Broadman is, um, there's some other kind of second tier down uh, brands that do it as well, but I really like it. I think it makes the piano sound a lot more warm and rich and colorful and all together better. Um, but that's basically the difference between a V-Pro and a wet sand casted plate. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, if you have any questions that are piano related, always feel free to shoot us an email. Um, you can contact me directly at michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com, or you can contact one of our instructors, David, at david at pianotechnicianacademy.com. Thanks for watching guys, talk to you soon.